Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back into another video. Today I'm going to be photographing the space station, the International Space Station, flying in front of the sun. It's something that I've done numerous times before, the space station flying in front of the sun and flying in front of the moon. The first times that I tried this were no problem. I seemed to get the space station really sharp going across either of those uh, surfaces or apparent going across those surfaces fairly good and since then I've struggled ever since now I've tried oh, I would say probably about another six times since the last time I photographed the space station I think it was going across the Sun and again I've struggled for to get the it's either the focusing right or the shutter speed fast enough. Now, I don't have the information at hand, but the space station is traveling a few thousand miles an hour um, around the Earth. And every so often, depending on where you are on the planet, the space station will almost appear from your point of view to transit the sun or the moon. Now, you can see these, you know, they're not super rare, but they're not common either. And uh, for the past two months, every time there's been a transit going past my area, and we're talking a very narrow band, uh, a, narrow, a narrow path across the earth here, we're talking maybe a couple of miles, that's the, the, the path that you've got to be in. Similar to an eclipse, you've got to be in that path before, uh, for to see the entire transit of the space station going across the sun or the moon. And um, for one reason or another in the past uh, couple of months, the weather's been poor or I haven't been able to see it, just simply because I've been at work or whatever. So today, it is 9.27 a.m. There's a transit going past the sun at 9.58 and 37 seconds. That's important because this transit today will only take just shy of a second. The space station will literally be across the very top corner of the sun in a second, less than a second. So I've got to be prepared, I've got to be down there. I've got the telescope in the back, as you can just see there. Celestron 6SE. I've got my solar filters for the front of the telescope, obviously. Um, I don't damage my eyesight or the camera. I've got my Fuji X-T5. I've got um, everything I need for to capture this transit. And this transit, because it's only going across the very corner of the sun, from my location I've got a very small strip of land that I've got to be on and that if anybody knows South Shields it's uh, just behind or just in the corner where the groin lighthouse is and the Little Haven Hotel so if I perch myself there I'll be in an ideal location beautifully clear the sky so I'm not worried about clouds everything I need is in the car in the bags uh, I've got everything everything set up the only thing I need to do is when I get to the location is set the telescope up focus it on the Sun let the automatic scope kind of stay on the Sun get my camera set up I don't need to worry about getting the full sun in the image just simply because the space station has gone across the very top corner and with it being so small it'll get lost in the, the image if I do a full solar solar image so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of just the top corner of the sun so I can try and get the, the space station really clear really in focus and a number of sunspots on the sun today, so that'll help me get a sharper focus on the sun. The, cam the 
telescope output is 1,500 millimeters. So that means I've got to have at least 1,500. 20 minutes. The sun is right there, blazing away. So I've got a lovely clear view. Right, so here we go. This is what happened.
Okay, it's just a few minutes to go and I've got the sun uh, lined up perfectly. There's a couple of beautiful sunspots there which have helped uh, focus the, the scope uh, very nicely. And the space station, as far as I'm aware, will across this very top corner. So I think that's going to look pretty nice. Um, I've managed to get ISO 4000 and shutter speed of 2000. I might try and ramp like, that up just a little bit faster if I can. I'm not too sure, but this is the end result. I hope it's worth it. Here is the final image, guys. Well, folks, I got it, but I'm not sure how sharp it is, so I'll have to get it on the computer. See it there, transiting across those two, up above those two sunspots. See what it looks like when I get it on the computer.